Dr. Joy Kong, and she will be educating us today on stem cells. Dr. Kong, exactly what are stem cells? Stem cells are primitive cells in our body. Um, as a human, we actually all started out as a stem cell, which is the fertilized egg. So within that fertilized egg, there is so much intelligence that's encoded in it that has the ability to form the clusters of cells and orchestrating the, the formation of the embryo, the different organ systems, and eventually a full-fledged person like you and me. Um, so that's a pretty miraculous process. And if you want to ask me to define what a stem cell is, I would say um, it's a cell that has the ability to self-replicate and has the ability to differentiate into a more specialized cell. So people don't understand that the stem cells, just like when we started from a fertilized egg, um, it's very potent, has a lot of potential, and as it goes down the evolutionary pathway, it loses some of its potential. So eventually there will be a stem cell that's in your organ system at different parts of your body. So those are the local stem cells. And when they divide, one of the cells that's the progeny will be the, the daughter cell that's identical to, to the, the initial cell, but the other one will become a specialized cell of that organ. Let's say, you know, either your liver cell or, you know, from your kidney, your skin. Um, so they become, uh, they're able to replenish the local population of the cells, which means if you have an injury, you have some kind of damage, then your body can repair itself. So um, one thing people may not know is that our stem cells, the supply of our stem cells decline drastically as we age. Um, when we were born, we were born with a lot of stem cells, um, one in about 10,000 cells are stem cells. And as we grow older and become a teenager, it becomes one in 100,000. So that's only one tenth. And then as you become a middle-aged person, then it becomes one in 400,000. And when you become an 80-year-old, that's only one in two million. So you can imagine, because there are just not many cells around, to be able to replenish and, and, and rebuild your, your damaged uh, tissue, then, you're, then there's a decline, there's a slow decline as a result. Um, so the regenerative medicine, the goal of it is to help replenish these cells or activate these cells so your body can repair better.